Hey, what's up church? I hope you guys are having a fantastic service today. I'm sorry I could not be there today. I am with my family, so please pray for me. Pray that we're having a great time enjoying one another. Um, this is our 2024 celebration stories and song service. And so literally, hopefully you guys have been paying attention to some of the stories that God has been using throughout our church of families who have come in this year and they've seen God at work here at Sojo. And this year, what we've seen is the verse that we've been talking about all throughout this year lived out. That verse is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. The verse says that he is able, he being God, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us, his church. And one thing I've said over and over again is that there's nothing more powerful than a unified church. And I feel like this year, 2023, the year we're leaving, has been one of the most unified years we've ever seen. And we've seen God do some amazing things through us being unified and believing that a unified church is the most powerful thing on the planet. Some of those things that I can point to are events that we have done as a church, whether it's just something so simple as a bingo night to raise money for local nonprofits. But what that does is raise awareness for nonprofits that are in our community that need our help. That in addition, so many people inside of our church are now getting involved in these local nonprofits and not only getting involved but finding purpose inside of these local nonprofits and just seeing our church ebb and flow ever more fluid into our community in so many different environments whether that's the local schools whether that's the local nonprofits I just talked about whether that's our first responders or whether that's just our local businesses just today I had almost 20 local business leaders in a small group talking about how this is one of the things they look forward to the most because it feels like a safe place that they can share what they're struggling with all of that is happening inside of your local church so many more things so many like measurable things like more baptisms in one year than we have seen in the totality of our church before that exceedingly abundantly God, seeing God do something in our big give Christmas offering again more than last year exceedingly abundantly seeing 700 people walk through our doors for the very first time that we have their names recorded exceedingly abundantly seeing a hundred people go through discover this year and calling Sojo their church exceedingly abundantly God has just done some incredible things and these are just a few like I could literally go on for another 15 minutes but that would bore you to death what we need to realize is that what God's doing here is special. What God's doing here is special. And it's because of us pulling together. It's not one person. It's not a few people. It's all of us pulling together. And so how do we carry that same energy into 2024? Because we've got big dreams. We want to see a new church planted and a few short miles up the road in China Grove. So one thing we're doing in March is we're going to have a worship night to start reaching into that community and hoping and praying that people see a need and want to join and be a part of a church called Sojo in China Grove. Or what about the new building that we're praying for God to give us and we're raising money so that when we have that building, we're ready to go into that and not have to borrow as much money so that we can renovate it and make it our permanent home. One idea or one dream or whatever it is I'm really excited about is a young man named Oscar. You just saw a video from him just a few short moments ago. He came into our church about three months ago and came up to me and said, Hey, Pastor, what can we do to reach the Hispanic community? And his dream is something that I'm praying about. And one step that we're going to take this year is begin to look at how can we reach, how can we look into reaching the Latino community here at Sojo that could turn into a Spanish Sojo. All of this revolves about one thing, and that's life change. How can we see as many lives as humanly possibly possible change through the local church, whether that's our church or all the churches across Cabarrus County. But one thing that we're praying for this year and we want to see 
is 125 lives changed through this church. And the dream is, is that you, as you bring these people in, as you are going to where you live, work, and where you play, and you're sharing the gospel through the way that you live your life or how you pray for these folks or how you invite them to church, whatever the method is, you can use so many methods, that as these people come closer to God and God changes their life and they ultimately give their life to Jesus, that you're the one helping them take that step in baptism. You're the one who gets to be a part and see what happens when they go underneath that water and literally they come out a different person. So church, I am excited and thank you so much for 2023. But that chapter's closing and it's time to start a new one. And we need to believe that God, the one who did exceedingly abundantly, wants to carry that into 2024 as well. So God bless you. Thank you for all the work, all the prayers, all the giving, all the serving, all the believing, all the things in 2023. I love you. You cannot wait to see what God does in 2024.